welcome back to Freedom Girl Farm. Today I'm showing you how I grew some of my dahlias. Here's some pictures of them here in Central Florida. Now back in March, I have a video, I'll put it in the description box, of me planting my tubers that I got in the mail. And so you see me doing it here. And a month later in April, um, a lot of them have grown very large. And I went ahead and wanted to make more dahlias. So I cut um, a lot of them. Now, of course, it depends on your last frost date, but here in Florida, I've read that you can pot up dahlias, tubers inside in December and January, or let them wake up in February, or plant them out in March. Here you see me just kind of looking over these plants. So I was working full time as a registered nurse and had a lot going on, so I didn't really pay attention to these for a while, so they grew very large. I just had them um, in their pots underneath my grow lights. I had them on a heat mat until they were at least an inch or two and then I took them off the heat mat and I just let them grow. Watered them, make sure they didn't uh, dry up and that's all I did. I didn't fertilize them at all when they were under the grow lights. Um, there's some more here in little pots and these are from seed. So I grew them from seed, tubers and cuttings. Um, so here I'm going to show you um, how I cut it. So I've researched this before and a lot of um, experienced dahlia grower, growers, I'm not an experienced one, I'm just a new one, uh, just learning as I go. They use an X-Acto knife to cut and they said to make sure it's clean so you, you know, you kind of stay sanitized. But I didn't do any of that, I just got regular scissors and cut the middle stem as you see here. Um, I'm just going to show you how I cut each and every one of these dahlias. You'll see that after I cut them, I went ahead and I stripped the bottom leaves uh, to give them more energy to root. Uh, so I did read about that here. You see me uh, ripping out the bottom leaves. So I do that for all of them before I just plop them right in the soil. I don't put them in water first. I don't put them in vermiculite only. Which I've seen that before. Um, they just I've seen farmers just cut um, cuttings off the dahlias and they put them straight into vermiculite and then they wait till they have roots um, a good amount and then they put it in dirt but I just put them straight into dirt These dahlia starter plants are from seed, so I didn't grow these from the tubers, so I took cuttings from seeds as well. So you could have multiple dahlia plants with multiple cuttings, so I just wanted to see um, how that would work. Alright, I added all the dirt in each pot and then I put a good amount of vermiculite on top. I'm just going to stick. in there, and then in there, and then just 
I'm gonna do three. So just do just this one just to see. Two more of these pots. I ran out of soil. So I'm gonna do these in a few bits. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this a little bit more. Weirdly positioned. And it's just the actual leaf itself. That's how I'm going to be propagating these. It is mid-April, so I'm sure I'm late, but we'll just try to grow these. And water, keep it moist. All right, just like I did with potting up those cuttings, I went ahead and I added peat moss to already to dirt I already had. In these grow bags, I think they're like 10 gallon, and these are a little bit bigger. I think there's like 15. So I have them here in my personal garden because it has shade cloth. And my husband hooked up some irrigation here that all these plants get water. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant all the dahlias here, like half a lay. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I don't have to worry about, ooh, look at those roots. Wow. Hopefully, I mean, it's what, mid-April, I know. You should be putting these in like in February. My last frost date was mid-March, so, I mean, not too far along. I've seen some people who are farther north than me already having these huge dahlia plants but we're all just trying to I guess I'm just trying to make it work with what I have I don't do this full time and so and I was sick and it was like kind of bedridden this past weekend so doing the best that I can just ding this put this in here cover it put some dirt in there we go. First dahlia is in. And I'll do these two. Boom Boom White is definitely root bound. <laughs> wow, look at that. Yeah, don't do this. So just have to break it up here. Definitely get that good in there. Sorry, boom boom. A little too late. It's okay. Hopefully you survive. Boom boom's the biggest that I left compared to the others. And those are pretty small. But I'm gonna put those in these bigger ones. I have one right there. Water hits in these areas. And I'll just put two in one, see how that goes, since they don't need such a big, I mean, I know these plants get, can get really big, so just, I'm just gonna do what I can for now. Looking good. Okay, so these are smaller ones. I'm just gonna put, this is a bigger grow bag. gonna put two give them some space maybe they'll just grow at their own size but just for now until I get smaller ones like this I don't want to just put one in this big one so let's go ahead and ooh, oh, came out two months later it's June and everything is growing really well i didn't baby these like i said i was working full time so i wasn't um, doing my best to take care of them obviously here they're all twisted but and i wasn't really baking on them to sell i was just trying to practice on my gro dahlia growing 
but I did get a cutting um, or two or three from them so here everything you can see was growing really well um, you see there's buds starting and there's a couple of flowers um, that I'll show you that I got just to note all these dahlia plants that I had in grow bag are growing under 40% shade cloth in my vegetable garden here little cuttings that I did and I think if I transplanted them into their own pot they would grow as big like this one stayed in their very small so the flowers were small I put about two dahlia plants in these five gallon grow bags and they still grew um, very tall so I know that the best way to grow dahlias probably in Florida is grow bags um, here I got a really um, tall stem and my cafe au lait this one right here um, was kind of twisted but she grew so beautifully and I was just amazed by her beauty I mean it's not the best looking cafe au lait I mean there's obviously way prettier and bigger ones but I was so proud of myself of my first time growing dahlias in Florida and I got one so here you can see um, there's a couple buds on this one and that one and I try to put bamboo sticks um, to straighten them out so for sure if I'm gonna grow in the future I'll give them more attention and love and I only fertilize them like once we have some bug damage here but some of them are growing very well stems are straight Dahlia right here, white. And this is the Boom Boom White Dahlia right here. There's some damage up there a little bit, but other than that, it's beautiful. So all the way around. So I had a good experience growing dahlias in Florida for the first time. I watered them regularly, make sure they didn't dry out, fertilized them once, and I got great blooms like this one. And if I didn't cut them, they would die out. You'll see it um, after this clip, um, how it looks and when it's dead. But I'll show some pictures of the ones that were successful. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And I'll see you guys in the next video.